Okay, I think my last recording crashed, so I'll try to go faster this time. Um, this is Yikes. I have made Eliza's.xyz for the Encode Club Chain Abstraction Hackathon. Um, I should log out of this so I can show that it actually works. Um, but also it kind of doesn't because I, it's something just broke again. Um, but this is Eliza's.xyz. Um, it is a marketplace to buy and sell agent services uh, in association with AI16Z. Um, there was a story that I told about how um, uh, I am involved with all of this, uh, but I won't uh, get too far into that because uh, it occurs to me I should probably keep this pretty short. Um, but AI16Z is a thing. Eliza's are what we build. Um, DJ and Spartan is one of them, uh, and I will just show that. So this is an agent. Um, it like doesn't. <laughs> it does. It appears like it is a normal shit poster, but this is actually an agent, and this is the kind of thing that we do, um, where we try to make them like believable and uh, genuine uh, to some degree. They also are able to post on Twitter, uh, Telegram, uh, Discord. Uh, Discord voice as well, uh, and I feel like I'm forgetting one, but that's what comes to mind. Um, I currently have one that is sitting in Discord, just to sort of like um, prove that that is a thing. Uh, where did my that my there we go? Please, uh, is it G? I don't maybe that'll work. Um, so Gordian is my guy, um, but he is dead right now because. He keeps trying to download a llama model and won't stop, so I have to figure out how to get him to stop later. Um, but uh, <laughs> until then, um, but what did I actually build for this? So I have my little landing page. Yes, there's a wait list. What I have is a connect. So we have a particle connect that is working just peachy. Um, I am connected with my MetaMask, but my um, my MetaMask may not be cooperating entirely right now, so let's see if we can. I also just switched off of, uh, switched over to um, 2404 LTS, and it's really buggy on pop, so you'll have to bear with me. Um, okay, but as you can see, we have dummy address, and then we have that's not the same address. Um, this is the smart account. It's the Biconomy smart account. Um, and I haven't tried to buy. I actually kind of want, want to try. I probably shouldn't try it live during the demo. That would be silly. Um, but yeah, so we have Particle Connect. And Particle Connect is creating a smart wallet on Biconomy. And then over in the dashboard, unfortunately, it doesn't. I Last time I did. Oh, it's working now. Amazing. Um, this is uh, Omnichain Portfolio. Uh, we have Mainnet Sepolia and Base Sepolia. Those are two different um, balances. And then I can just check real quick and see, can I have this be on uh, Sepolia? Sepolia. Um, tokens? Uh, can I? Okay. Maybe I'll have to ask you to take my word for it, but let me see real quick. Tokens, can I do, uh, can I do a, not that, okay. Can I do a, can I get test networks please? Okay, I don't really want to mess with that or waste any of your time, but um, there is USDC, um, which I believe I might be able to show. Yeah, we've got some posts. We've got some embedded metadata coins, um, all that stuff. So that's actually going through, um, and that is with Cluster. The Unfortunately, I didn't have time to get Octo up and running, um, so sorry, guys. Um, but we do have a login there. Um, and then the other two that I submitted for, I just have plans right now, but I think they're good. Um, so I will just say them here and then 
if it's worth a prize, great. Um, if it is a, hey, like, call me later because we should make this happen, then that's also great. Um, so, um, I have we have agents. They come with wallets. All, all of them do. They all have Solana wallets. We're working on actually getting TEEs up and running for them so they uh, that they can actually have fully their own wallets if you want to go crazy. Um, and then we also have something called the Marketplace of Trust where we have a virtual order book that the agents are going to use to try and figure out who, if anyone, they should actually believe when uh, inevitably a bajillion people start shilling meme coins at them. Um, so I'm going to integrate that leaderboard over into the marketplace, which are where I would also like to allow for people to um, buy and sell their own agents, um, either design and development services or like the agents actually performing services of some kind. Um, I forget if I went over the, the integrations, but we have a bunch of a bunch already. Um, okay, so what, what's the what are the further plans? Ceta oracles. I think if what we since what I have is an agent that is already walking and talking and transacting on chain, presumably I could have a um, user tell that agent, hey, like, can you look to see if this you know, meme coin is, uh, if there's an, an arbitrage opportunity for this meme coin on any of these chains or whatever. Um, what an agent could do is post an intent flag to a CETA oracle, um, which since CETA is sort of, is I believe cross chain or chain agnostic, but I know it's at least programmable. So we could set the params for, um, the uh, the execution where the agent takes the natural language instruction, translates it to an approximation of what it thinks are good transactions, and then it can tally solvers coming by that are just watching the CETA feed that are like, oh yeah, like this looks kind of correct, but this probably won't work. And then solvers can just propose tallied actual transactions that'll make that execution happen. And then the um, uh, once that tally like period is complete, the agent can take it back to the human and then say, "Hey, uh, like solver A proposed this, and solver B proposed that. Um, this one is like costs a little more gas, but it'll get it done. Um, this one is uh, uh, like costs less gas, but it's going to be slower, so you might not be able to like catch the wave you want to catch. Which one do you want?" Um, and then uh, the agent can approve that. And then the user um, can, I need to f double check on this, but I think if there is a Solana wallet over here that the agent has, and I have an account account over here, I can add multiple wallets to this, I think. Because um, I did it earlier with my, with my Google account. I guess we'll just like show that real quick to just prove that it works. Um, uh, so we'll set that later. That's fine. So now I have this and then I can link a login account. Okay. Yeah. So if I can link a couple of wallets to this, then, um, what a user can do with their agent is they can go to their dashboard and then they can see like for this wallet and presumably I can add a couple more. Ah, see, I proved it's working because this doesn't have any <laughs> USDC on it. Um, I, what I'd like to do is be able to chat with the agent, have your wallet up here that's got the balance, omni-chain balance, then have their wallet underneath that it has got the omni-chain balance. So you can kind of check in and see what they're doing. Um, so uh, the other thought there with Agoric is I, want, I, I just kind of want to play with Agoric because it looks cool. But the thing that I do know about IBC is if you can get to IBC, then you can get to Neutron, which means you can get to Nexus, which means you can go anywhere you want from there because you can just, if there isn't a warp route deployed, you can just deploy one um, from any of these Hyperlane compatible chains. I know it's not a sponsor. I just like um, have chilled with these guys for a little bit. 
um, and I know that if I need a bridge real quick and I don't want to ask anybody, this is generally like the route I'm going to take. Um, so I would want to use Agoric to orchestrate the transactions in order. So we have the we have the solver that has proposed the potential transaction. We have the human that's approved it. So now we need to orchestrate the assets such that they can actually move to all the places they need to go in order to fully execute that, that transaction. Um, and I think that's where Agoric comes in, but I need to look a little further at the docs. Um, so those are my two like proposed things that I thought I would just mention just in case. And then my last little bit that I do want to mention that is technically like not really part of the submission part um, is, so uh, this is me talking with Claude and Claude has all of all of your sponsor docs vectorized in his brain and in my workspace, which contains particle, octo, zeta, agoric, and cluster. So if you have a chatbot, I can happily hand you the vectors um, and or I can uh, probably do a little bit of tinkering and figure out a way for you to get like a docs chatbot going if you want one, just um, as, a, as a side bonus fun thing, I guess. Um, yeah, I think I'll wrap it there because I feel like I've been rambling, but that is my submission for the chain abstraction. Let's... Uh, uh, fully abstract blockchain away entirely um, <laughs> such that uh, normies will actually tolerate and use it especially if they get to talk to cute cat girl waifus while they do it that's the plan all right bye